Hey guys, Oliver Windows here, and today I am back with another video. And in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a tribute to Windows 8.1. Windows 8.1 is going to be going out of support January 10th, 2022. So I decided, so I asked everyone on a poll what video they wanted me to do next, and this was like the most voted on that poll. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be installing Windows 8.1 on this laptop, and as you can see, I also have the screen recording it too. Um, but whenever I do that, I'm going to look through the operating system, and I'm going, and then after that, I'm going to do some customization that people like you know that people love doing when they had Windows 8. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as you can see right here, I have this USB drive again, and, and I do have a legally obtained copy of Windows 8.1, so there's no worries about that. Um, I just have the, I have the laptop in the BIOS so I can have the ring light on, but I have this here again. So yeah, let's go ahead and plug this into the laptop. Let's go ahead and give, this, uh, give it a quick reboot, and immediately it runs into Windows 11, which was the last video I did, so let's not do that. Let's go into the boot menu here. And let's go to the Kingston Data Traveler. For some reason, it's not put up to the top like I thought it would be, but whoa, what the heck? This drive <clears throat> was created by Rufus. It can boot it can boot in UFEI mode only, but you are trying to boot in the BIOS. It will not work. To remove this message, you need to do one of the following. If the computer supports UFI or recreate the drive in Rufus and use MBR. Okay, I thought I thought about that, but I actually wasn't certain, so. Well, looks like I'm going to be creating a Rufus thing, so I will be back. Okay, so I am back. I have uh, put Windows 8.1 on here, um, this time in the form it needs, which is the, uh, what, MBR. So let's go ahead and put this USB stick back into the laptop and restart the computer. There we go. Now let's see if, if it boots into the USB drive or if it's going to boot straight into the hard drive. Looks like it's booting straight into the hard drive again. And then go down to Kingston Data Traveler once more. And now boot from USB. There's the old Windows 8 slash 10 boot icon. Of course it may take it a little bit to actually load it properly. And there's the dots. See that's whenever this was actually introduced. Was those, those dots were in Windows 8. Oh yeah, the good old Windows 8 purple. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and just go on and, and do the setup process and then I will just, you know, do, do what I pretty much do. Install, um, go through the setup process, look through everything, and then I'm going to do the other programs. So let's go ahead and push next here and then install now. It, still, it says Windows 8, but this is definitely Windows 8.1. They never put the .1 in the picture, so it just says Windows 8. Um, but yeah, may Windows 8.1 rest in peace. It was released October 17th, uh, 2013, and it is officially being put out of support January 10th, 2022. The only updates that'll go to it are unofficial updates that people may or may not do to it. But unfortunately, it's sad to see it go, but people didn't care as much about Windows 8.1 as they did, um, you know, Windows 7 or Windows 10 for that matter. But I'm going to go ahead and put the product key in and then I will be back. Alright, as you can see, I was able to get the product key in first try. I mean, you couldn't see it, but I got the product key in first try, fortunately. So I used like a default product key that comes with Windows 8.1. So definitely wasn't like illegal or anything. But here you have the license agreement, which I'm not going to go through just because I, I can't read that much, and especially that quick either. Um, there's this in case you need it so uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and push next here do custom of course go to the 50 gigabyte drive look how little is left in it. it's got 13.1 gigabytes left um, but let's go ahead and format it and then goodbye Windows 11 which is okay I mean it's not supported anyways but and then we will go push next and let it copy the files just like always, I'm just going to skip past this and let it do its thing. While we're waiting on this to process, I did want to mention real quick, um, the subscribe button. <laughs> it's free, obviously, subscribing and, and, and liking and turning on post notifications and all that. It's all free for you guys. 
So this is already 15% done, which is kind of surprising. Well, that was fast. I look up and look back down. It's already at 28, 29. Dang. That's the fastest installation I've done on this laptop, I think. And it, this is like getting the files ready, you know, like expanding files. I guess they decided to change it to getting files ready for some strange reason. But So as you can see, I don't know if it's noticeable to you guys, but there ha there is a slight difference with the recording. If you go down to the gear icon in the bottom right and choose the quality, you'll notice it says 4K60. Yep, I'm using my phone to record this time because I, I couldn't use the camera and I feel like it might look better. I'm not, ex don't quote me on that. I'm not sure, but I feel like it would look better. Let me know in the comments if you like uh, me recording on my phone more than, I, than you like me recording on my camera or if you like the camera better. Um, I may put a poll up after this video is released. I'm not exactly sure yet, but, but yeah, isn't it sad seeing an operating system you loved or grew up with go out of support? I mean... Whenever I was younger, I was really upset whenever I saw Windows 7 and when, or actually really when, when Windows XP went out of support, it was because, you know, the, I kind of grew up with them. You know, I never personally, I never cared too much about Windows 8.1, but I never really got to use it that much because when I got into computers, I was using Windows 7 and then went straight to Windows 10. I didn't even notice Windows 8.1 except for my dad's laptop. And I don't have that laptop with me else. I would be using it instead of this for my videos, for my Windows 8 video. I know a lot of people actually really, really liked it. So, and I mean, it was really good. It looked really nice um, as a, you know, a laptop with this where the screen flips around like my laptop does, but it has Windows 11. Um, but I mean, it, you know, it was, it was definitely a great OS while it lasted. And may Windows 8.1 rest in peace. 10, 17, 2013 to 1, 10, 2022. I just realized something. I, I just remembered something from my past. Doesn't Windows 8 have that circle with the percentage in the middle of it? What? Why did Microsoft get rid of that? Now they just had those stupid dots spinning around in circles. That was a really, really cool installation thing. I don't know why they got rid of that, and I really wish they didn't. It's probably one of the coolest like installation circles they've ever done. Actually, one of the coolest installation anything, really, after the setup. But I hope it was normally with Windows. I'm pretty sure it was. I guess we'll see uh, when this gets done. All right, as you can see, the computer is now starting to restart. It didn't even take that long. I'm only 11 minutes in. See, this is going much faster than it did with Windows 11. Oh, wow. Did you see that? It was just there for just a second, but it said restarting. Yeah, I'm not waiting 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and <laughs> let's get let's get to it. Windows 8.1, come on now. Man, Windows 8.1 was a huge redesign, wasn't it? And then they just got lazy afterwards. Because Windows 11 is pretty pretty dang near similar, which it should be like what they've been do what they've been doing with the uh, Windows Vista 7, 8, 10 like lookalikes. Because Windows Vista and 7 look similar, Windows 8 and Windows 10 look similar. Oh wow, would you look at that? Am I already in the setup process? That was the fastest I've ever seen it. Obviously I'm choosing this one. I'm going to choose Grip Windows 8.1, or 8.1 I guess, or 8-1. No, dash, no, dash one. There we go. Go ahead and push next here. Can I not choose dashes? Oh, there it goes. Alright, it's going to try and connect to the network. I'm going to skip this step for now. I'm going to use Express Settings. And I'm going to type my name here, which is obviously Gabe. Password AOW. 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 And then finish. I guess it already went through. It just didn't pick it up. <laughs> of course. I wish I didn't have to put a hint. There we go. And now it's, it's already finalizing my settings. That's kind of crazy. So hopefully I'll be able to have this video out by Friday. And if I do, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas Sunday. It's supposed to be very cold where I am because of uh, some cold wave coming in from Siberia, I think. I can't remember the word. I can't remember what it said it was coming in on. It was some express, some train, but it's getting pushed out of Siberia and came. it's like going through the whole U.S. except for like around the 
California area for some, of course. But it's supposed to be snowing Thursday, and today's Wednesday. Is it going to say, let's start? What's it going to do? Oh, it's going to do the whole high thing, of course. And it's going to go do the whole rainbow color. I'm glad that I'm actually glad they got rid of that because it was always so bright and it in some points it would hurt people people's eyes if they watched it too much. Don't quote me on that, I'm just assuming, but it always hurt my eyes whenever I watched it. Oh right, installing your apps. This gradient is going pretty slow, isn't it? Or did it lock up? I think it might have locked up. Now it's going through all the colors. Oh, it's taking care of a few things, but it still says it's installing your apps. I'm waiting for that word to change down at the bottom. I wish there was a way to skip it, uh, installing apps, because I'm pretty sure... I hope, I think it says when it's installing your apps, it's just installing all the apps on the little... the start menu and stuff. Who knows how long this will take. The setup process was pretty quick, though, so hopefully it won't take that long. Oh, wow, it says don't turn off your PC. It, just didn't, it doesn't even say what it's doing. Let's start. That is so cool how it actually changes to the color you chose. I actually like that. And would you look at that. I am now officially in Windows 8.1. So what I'm going to do before I go through this is I'm going to uh, install all the drivers and make sure everything's done properly. Because I have some stuff I'm going to be doing um, while I do that. Or when I get done with that. So I guess I'll be back whenever I'm done. Alright, so as you can see, I finally got all the drivers installed. It didn't take too long, but it also didn't want to install all the drivers either. I'm not exactly certain as to why, but it may or may not be the next day, but who cares. Um, Alright, so first, let's go ahead and let's look through Windows 8 a little bit. Um, I haven't used Windows 8 in a long time. I, it's like something I never really wanted to like use. What little bit I have used, I actually did enjoy using Windows 8, so I don't know, I think it's just because since I grew up with it a little bit, it was my teenage years, so I just didn't like it, but yeah, let's take a look into the start menu, and boom, look at that animation, man. And I like how I could, like, the backgrounds and everything, this kind of just reminds me of the Xbox Series X, it's pretty similar. Well, I guess the Xbox One is the same way, but... It's really nice how it fades in and all that stuff. They did a pretty good freaking job with this. I guess with Windows 10, they got a little bit lazy because, I mean, it was created in 2015 and it took them until 2022 to create Windows 11. But the first thing that you see, uh, I'm not going to go through some of these just because you'll have to set up an account and I really don't want to do that. But uh, the first one on here is Mail, which obviously I'm going to ignore. Then you have, for some reason, Sports. Not exactly sure why that's was just automatically built into the um, operating system but it appears it doesn't want to load too well the hard drive light is constantly running but uh, the next thing you'll have oh search settings and other charms yeah that was pretty cool too how they had this um, but Windows 8.1 or well Windows 8 in general was actually just designed for uh, like tablets basically so it ran better that's why the start button or start menu is in full screen and everything else is in full screen. Um, of course, there's Skype. I'm not going to open just because I have to sign in and it also might not even be supported anymore. Um, this is just normal stuff that comes with uh, pretty much any version of Windows. It's just file explorer and, and everything. Um, it, there's the settings I'll go to last. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the calendar. I really like that spinning animation that uh, it does as well. It's really neat. I'm just wondering, are any of these um, apps going to actually open? Indeed they are. Alright, looks like i got to type my password for some reason. Oh, I see. It's trying to switch me to a Microsoft account. No, I'm not, I'm not going to a Microsoft account. Okay, this is kind of silly. Why would I want to sign in to view a calendar? That doesn't even make sense, Microsoft. Come on now. Uh, anyways, then there's money, which I'm sure you'd have to sign into as well. It doesn't even want to load, so we'll go ahead and go to the weather, see if it opens without signing in. It probably doesn't. No, well, there's the... Oh, wow. Well. Alright, so next up you have the good old Internet Explorer. I don't know if this is Internet Explorer 10 or if it's Internet Explorer 11, but either way, it runs just as slow as it ever has. So let's let's see... 
press this. It doesn't have that smile, smiley face icon on it. So, okay, about Internet Explorer. No, it is Internet Explorer 11. Okay. 2013 Microsoft. That's crazy. All right, the next program. This is the video player, I assume. Yeah, the normal video. Xbox Studio isn't available right now just because, uh, well, it's discontinued. And of course you have to sign in as well. It's kind of changed to like movies and TV or whatever they call it. But uh, the next thing on here is music, which I hope it is an Xbox music as well. It is Xbox music. Okay, so this appears like it wants to actually work. Of course you have to sign in for everything, but uh, let's go ahead and open up the uh, games and see what kind of Xbox games are in included on here. Pretty interesting. This was like back when the Microsoft Store didn't exist, so they just had different apps for different things. Look at that, the old Xbox logo. Uh, next up, we have the camera itself. And for some reason, it thinks my camera drivers don't work, which is fine, actually, I, so I uh, don't get hacked or anything. Then there's uh, help and tips. Okay, so it kind of teaches you uh, what you could like do in Windows 8. That's pretty interesting. I'm glad this is like in here so it could teach like people in the future that look at Windows 8.1 and see um, how to actually use it properly. You got your basic actions. How am I supposed to scroll? Like I thought you can like move the mouse cursor over here but I can't. Alright. You get your account and files. You got settings here. Quick settings and shutdown. I think I can do this. Press settings, maybe? Yeah, there it is. What, no audio? I guess not. Oh, that's right. Y'all probably have it in there, don't you? Let's see. Yeah, y'all have it up there. All right. And last on here is what's new, which kind of is not new anymore. It was just new then. Um... Let's close these out. All right, then you have your photos, which it should just be the default photos that come with Windows 8.1. Or Windows 8.1 doesn't come with photos at all. All right, good to know. Uh, then on here has OneNote, which is um, something I wish I got into sooner because of all the neat little features it has to offer. At least it did back then. I'm not exactly sure if it does now. Of course, it's going to ask me to sign in yet again, which I'm not going to do. Uh, you have your news here, which which I'm not exactly certain on what kind of news it's going to show, if anything, because, again, this is kind of, kind of old. My voice is going out for some reason. So if I didn't mention it before, you guys should go down in the description and uh, click that link. It's, it says uh, the Discord server link. It's, you know, uh, I ha it's my server. I have a Discord server out now. Um, it took me a little bit to set it up, but I'm pretty sure it's all set up. If it's not set up, and if someone finds a bug, you may or may not get the insider role without even applying for it. So, I'm trying to create like a full-blown community server for, you know, everyone to join, not just people on my channel, but that's kind of unlikely. But, if you guys really want to join my Discord, go ahead, it's down in the description, and I'll see you guys there. So it appears the news isn't one to load ver uh, correctly, so let's go ahead and go to the next thing, which is, uh... Looks like it's the store. It is them. Oh. So the Microsoft Store was a thing. It just wasn't like for everything, including games and stuff. It's just whatever the heck is this is about. Okay, it's bugging out. Uh, next up you have health and fitness. Man, I can't get over these animations. But think about it. With Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, they had to completely redesign all these apps. Of course they didn't redesign the desktop too much but um yeah they had to redesign all these apps of course health and fitness probably isn't going to load properly anyways just because i don't do that kind of stuff so you got food and drink i'm not exactly certain uh what these are for actually i've never actually used these apps so while those load i'll go ahead and open all of them up obviously i'm not going to use maps and the reading list i'm not sure what does the reading list do Share a reading list, read it later. Read it at your leisure. It's now available on Windows Phone. Oh my god, I can't believe it. 
for those who don't know windows phone is discontinued um, and then you got all these apps here I didn't install the uh, Windows 8 with Media Center. I meant to, but I forgot I was going to do that, so I didn't do it, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I'm trying to see if anything piques my interest. Doesn't seem like it. Looks like I've pretty much gone through uh, most of the apps, at least what's on the start screen. And all right, let's see. Has anything loaded yet? This has loaded. That hasn't loaded. That says it's loading. Let's see, what does it have to offer? It ain't gonna load either. You can tell Windows 8 is gonna be discontinued because all these apps don't work anymore. Yeah, that's not working right. That's finally loaded. That's not loading. That we don't need to worry about. Um, I don't have any pictures and I have some things down here that didn't close yet. Let's go ahead and close these. Money, money, money. And yeah, let's mark that off the list. Next up, I'm going to be looking at the settings menu. All right, as soon as you open up settings, you get a personalized option. So you can personalize your lock screen, your account picture, and your uh, add a picture password, which is pretty good for people that had touch screens. Um, let's go ahead, let's personalize the lock, lock screen, why not? So you, the default is this picture, which is kind of interesting. I'm not exactly sure why they chose this one, but a lot of these pictures do match up with Windows 8. It's crazy. Except for this piano. I'm not exactly sure why they did this. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and then next up on here, we got play a slideshow on the lock screen. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Use from pictures. Only use the picture that will fit best. Yes, play a slideshow when using battery power. No. When my PC is inactive, show the lock screen instead of turning off the screen. Turn off screen after slideshow is played for, let's do 30 minutes, why not? And now, uh, the lock screen actually had apps. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think it does in Windows 11 anymore, but it, it, um, Windows 10 did at one point. Um, of course, uh, what the apps do is it basically it'll notify you of what's going on in whatever app you decide to put on here. Of course, I'm not going to... Uh, yeah, let, let's go ahead and add the weather as well. And then the app to display detail status, the calendar, and there we go. Next up is the display, which is just this normal stuff. Pretty, pretty typical. Uh, then you have the devices here. I don't think any of these... This has to do with the, in, the uh, customization. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So let's go back and change the account picture. Oh, that's right. I don't have any pictures. Never mind. Let's not do that. Um, sign in options. Okay, change. Uh, adding a pin and all that. Other accounts, I don't have any, so I can just go go away there. And I'm not going to do picture passwords. So uh, let's go into the OneDrive section. And I'm just gonna go through and like click on each one just so you guys can see what each, uh, each and every one does. Okay, next up is search into apps. Interesting. All right, um, this is the notifications. Go down here and you can select what can notify you and whatnot. You got your app sizes. It's going to determine it, apparently. It didn't do that first. You got your defaults. Of course, you got your, your web browser, the email, your calendar and maps. Okay. Next up is the privacy. You got your typical information here. Choose what apps can do what. And you got your network. Airplane mode, proxy, home group, and workplace. You got time and language, which is just your default time, uh, date and time and region and language. And then you have ease of access. So that uh, that is like, it has the narrator. It has magnifier, high contrast, 
keyboard, mouse, and other options. What's in the other options? Play animations in Windows. Okay, so that's basically this. But if I turn it off... Wait, huh? There it goes. Now it's not doing it anymore. And who the heck would want this? This kind of is just suddenly in your face and it doesn't feel good. I mean, the only time I can see it useful is if your computer is horrible, but in my case, no, I'm not doing that. It just doesn't look good. Uh, and last but not least, you have the Update and Recoveries tab, which is just normal Windows Update. Oh, and look at that, I have updates. Um, you got your file history, which um, you can basically recover files you delete on, a, on accident and whatnot, but it only works uh, if you have a drive plugged into it. And then you have your recovery, which is just basically what it has in Windows 11 today. You can refresh your computer without factory resetting it. You can remove everything and reinstall Windows, and you can boot into the safe mode or whatever you want to call it, the boot, the boot menu, I guess. Um, and yeah, the last thing on this list is the control panel. And pretty much control panel has everything that Windows 7 has. Actually, it pretty much is Windows 7 control panel. Except here, you can add features to Windows 8.1. And would you look at that? I can't add features to this version, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Um, anyways, last but not least, I'm going to look at the themes. Let's go, let's, so let's go to personalize here. And that's it. That's all the themes this has is just the default windows. For some reason, the background is the way it is. I don't understand why they decided to choose this image over like a windows type image. Um, but the, the second one is called lines and colors. So it's literally just this. I had this as my background at one point, but it didn't last long. And last but not least, you have flowers. And that's pretty much it. It's just flowers. Uh, I don't care too much for any of these, so I'll just go back to the default and then close out of this. So yeah, let's mark that off the list now. And you guys may have been wondering, what is that programs folder that's sitting there on your desktop? Well, what I'm going to be doing in this tribute video is I'm going to be going through and I'm going to be installing different programs that people would have done back whenever this was like the main operating system. So basically what I have is uh i have some themes i have um oh let me let me just show you guys let's go ahead and open this folder so as you can see i have a themes folder uh gadgets classic shell glass 8 start 8 start is back plus and windows 7 games for windows 11 10 and 8. surprisingly they are still updating uh windows 7 games for 8 plus um, before it was just Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and now it says 11 and also 8 so I went ahead and extracted that um, but first what I'm going to be looking at is start 8 basically what start 8 is is it uh, changes the start menu to look like Windows 7 instead of having that boom pop up full screen start menu that I never cared for but that's why they, in Windows 10, they went back to the whole start menu in the bottom left. And kind of just didn't leave that. Um, I do agree, so I will just agree and press next here. Do next again, and I guess just let it uninstall. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it actually said uh, setting up uninstall, and it did that first, which is really nice. Uh, I actually like that. Um, I will start my 30 day trial. I've always hated that about Stardock. You'd have to buy it, but I mean, it makes sense because it's like hard customization stuff, but not everything has to be free. I mean, not everything has to cost money. I'll have to enter my email address. Okay. All right, it has been activated. And when you look at that, it just immediately activated. Um, Stardock, Stardock, you shouldn't do that because, or at least send out an update uh, whenever it's discontinued so people don't have to worry about paying for something like that, but All right, let's check out start eight. So what theme do you want to use? Default theme which is designed to match the square edges of Windows 8 default theme with black edges uh, As default but with black selection edges. Let's let's just go through all of them. So let's do the default theme here 
And would you look at that? There it is. There's the start menu. So you, it looks pretty much exactly like Windows Vista and 7 does. Except it's just kind of normal and has square edges and not very smooth like. Um, let's see, what is the black edges about? Oh, okay, interesting. It's just kind of, just put some black edges in there. Okay, I, that's exactly what it says. Um, rounded Windows 7, what is, what is this? Oh, there you go. Now that's Windows Vista slash Windows 7 style. And when you look at that, down at the bottom left, the start button has changed too. Which I would never like. I wouldn't like that. I'd have to change it. But semi-transparent style start menu. Shadow. Huh. Oh, would you look at that? It is, it is transparent. It's kind of got like an arrow effect on it. Cool. What should the start menu look like? Start button look like? It's set to default, but it's not. So you got start 8. Oh, okay, so it's just the start 8 icon and then default. And the custom image? No. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it being default. Um, now what is this about? Oh, what the heck? Is that supposed to happen? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, it is. Oh, that is weird. I don't like that. What size should it be? So it's at small, what does tall look like? It looks the, it looks the same? Okay, what about wide? Okay, there you go. This is kind of similar to Windows 10. What about large? Oh, okay, kind of shrunk it from the top, but expanded it to the right more. Uh, of course, full screen is probably default. Yeah, that's just the default start but uh, start menu. What should the start button look like? That's kind of the same. Uh, let's keep it at Windows 7 style at the rounded Windows 7. Um, what, what is the configure tab? What does that do? So I can set it to... Use large icons, show recently used apps, open submenus when I pause on them with the mouse pointer. Oh, does that mean like if I do this, like hover over that? Yeah, that's pretty much normal in Windows 7. Highlight newly installed application, that, yeah, that's pretty normal. And show user picture is also normal. Allocate room for at least 10 large icons. Okay, cool. Let's go scroll through here a little bit. Oh, I see. So this will, like, open up on this. Um, what is the advanced? Make places list items smaller? Oh, okay. That's that little thing right here on the right. Insert custom places at the top of the list. Huh. Not exactly certain what that did. Uh... Oh, that must be this right here. I can I can just use custom. That's okay. Um, down here, I could change what the power button does, which is actually pretty interesting. But I like to keep it at shutdown. I've always liked it like that. Control. Start button shows a start 8 menu. Start button shows the Windows 8 menu. Start button shows the shows Windows 8 menu unless, unless docked. What does that mean? Start button shows start 8 menu unless in tablet mode. I guess docked means like... When it's set up like a normal laptop, maybe? Windows key shows start 8 menu as well. Okay, yeah, that, uh, wait. Windows key shows the last modern UI application. Huh. What's that? L let's see what that's about. Um, oh, okay, so it kind of just swaps it. Interesting. I'm not a fan of that. Let's keep it where it was. Show the Windows 8 menu when I control click the start button. Wait, so if I hold control and press click? Oh, would you look at that? Well, that's cool. Show the Windows 8 menu when I press the right Windows key. I don't have a right Windows key on this keyboard. What should happen when you are in a modern UI app? Windows key fades to desktop and show start 8 menu. Start menu, hot, whoa, goodness. There's a lot of stuff to customize in this. Show me the Windows 8 menu when I press the right Windows key. I don't have the right Windows key again. Don't have the right Windows key? Okay. <laughs> Control plus Windows key simulates. Shift plus Windows key simulates. Holding the Windows key for half a second simulates. Okay, yeah, there you go. I held it down and it does that. Cool. I'll keep that checked. I actually like that. Then you got your desktop. So, Char. Char. Which taskbar should the start button appear on? Show a start button on the main taskbar. 
Show a start button on secondary taskbars, if any. How should the taskbar appear? Disable task. Uh, Where should search look for files? Search should include files outside the standards of the standard libraries. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually like customize where you want it to search for. How should the new Windows 8 features work? Disable all Windows 8 hot corners when the de when at the desktop. Okay, interesting. And then about, of course, is just start 8, copyright 2012 to 2015. That's crazy. Because Windows 8 was released uh, 2013, I thought. But anyways, let's close out of this and uninstall it. Let's see, if I do this, uh, will it just run the uninstaller instead of the installer? Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Why is it asking me to reboot now? It didn't ask me that last time. So I guess I'm rebooting. Let's we'll see what happens. So while we wait on this, I am going to check it off the list. So yeah, if I didn't mention it earlier, I'm sorry, I forgot. I have created a list of stuff that I'm going to do. So of course I did these first, of course, and then second, the start menu, which is this stuff, start is back, plus is next. So basically you can see what I'm going to be doing and then that's the theme patcher. And then this last piece of paper here is that. Which I can show you guys the list now that I have showed you guys the programs so you know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Just you didn't know what order I was doing it in. All right, now that it's finally freaking loaded, I'm going to uninstall this start menu. Oh, would you look at that? I have Microsoft Edge now. I didn't even ask for it. I don't need you right now. I'll set this up later. Go away. And would you look at that? I have a finally reached the uh, notification about end of support. So it reads, Genu uh, this version of Windows is nearing the end of support. January 10th, 2023 is the last day Microsoft will offer security updates and technical support for PCs that run Windows 8.1. We are reaching out now to thank you for your loyalty and help you prepare for what's next. Of course, I'm just going to remind me later. I'm press OK here. And there's the uninstall screen that I was waiting on so much to freaking load. And all right, as you can see, I do have the normal start button back and the start menu for that matter. Of course, it's going to take in a minute to load just because it's on a hard drive. But yeah, let's move on to the next start menu uh, program, which is called Start is Back Plus. I wonder what Start is Back Plus like means. So I will be doing it only to install for me. Of course, it doesn't really matter. It's just only me. But of course, this also has a 30... 30 day or yeah 30 day uh, trial all right so what's going on here what is what was that about why did it try and go to the start menu i think it like installed it and then refreshed explorer or something restarted explorer it's kind of weird all right so we get a welcome message after we install it uh and it reads welcome to start is back your desktop experience has been improved here's a short tutorial Press Windows key on keyboard or click start button to bring up start menu. Press control and Windows key on keyboard simultaneously or click start button with mouse wheel button to bring up start screen. Right click start menu or start button and choose properties to configure start menu and other cool features. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's just push the start button, see what happens. Oh wow, would you look at that? It pretty much looks similar to the Windows, uh, the, uh, the other one, the start eight. Looks very similar, actually. Uh, let's configure. Configure start is now. Start is now. Start is back. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. You could change the, the little icon. Can anyone tell me what this, why there's a clover one that I can choose? Um, I might choose this one just because it looks neat. So if I press apply here, now look at that. Now it's Windows A's, A Aven, Aven, <laughs> Windows 8 and 7 mixed together. 
So you can disable start menu translucency, disable taskbar translucency, display all programs as flyout Windows XP style. Oh, okay, I got it. Let's let's do this real quick. So all programs, yep, just like Windows XP. It fades in too, and then once you swap over, it doesn't fade when you swap. I wish it did do that, but it never did. Hide user account picture and used advanced start button contact, con context menu. What does that mean? Let's go ahead, let's, let's see. Use advanced start button context menu. Huh? Uh, let me know down in the comments what it means by that, because I don't, I don't see a difference. But um, as you can see, you can actually just change the color to whatever you want, apparently. Uh, I'm not going to do that simply because it just matches the background. Oh, look, you can actually uh, change this stuff. Hang on. So the arrow effect is enabled, as you can see. It's actually on here. It's just you can't tell with this background. It just looks like one single color. That's cool. So then there's this like Windows Vista-esque, or no, sorry, Windows 7-esque uh, start screen here, start menu. And yep, they weren't kidding. It's pretty similar to Windows 7. Um, so this is called Plane 8, okay. And you got arrow by design. What, what, let's see, what is that referencing? Or what does that mean? Now let's put this behind it. Okay, so it has arrow all the way around the start menu. I like that. And then you have arrow eight, which is, I guess, another Windows 8 style theme. Yeah, it's got the sharp corner edges and everything, but it does have the arrow effect. Uh, I'm going to do the arrow eight by design. Or sorry, arrow by design. So the next one, oh, I didn't even see this. I'm not gonna change any of these settings, but I'm scrolling down so you guys can read what they are for. And it could, you can change how many programs are displayed in right here in this little area. Uh, you could change what the power button default is, which is nice. Uh, apparently there's a new version available, which doesn't make sense, but... Now, what is switching? When I log on to my PC, show desktop. Yes, I like that. When I close modern app, when I close modern app, switch to last used environment. Which I guess is what it, whenever I open up, uh, you know, let's say, uh, I forgot, this isn't Windows 8 anymore. How are you, how are you supposed to get to a modern app from here? Start apps, there it is, okay. So, let's say you open up Calendar, which I didn't mean to do. Um, let's try and open up Calculator just so I can get it properly on. So, start apps and then Calculator. Um, wait, what does it say? When I close modern app. Okay, that's right. So let's open this up and then open this up. So now, whenever you close it, it'll just open up whatever was, whatever was, uh, what else you had open. Um, when I press Windows key, show start menu. When I press control, Windows key, show the start screen, which is the default Windows 8, uh, start, uh, screen. When I hold Windows key, nothing happens. Um, Okay. Configure hot corners. So top screen edge is snap. All that stuff's kind of similar. Enable bottom left screen corner, which is start screen button. Why is that not enabled by default? Interesting. Uh, let's check the advanced tab, which is okay. Rename start screen to apps and keep only modern apps there. Interesting. Show taskbar on start screen. All right. Store and display recently opened programs. Store and display recently opened items. Enable taskbar and start menu animations, yes. Terminate modern apps with the close button. Does it not do that when you close it? That's interesting. And then you can just disable start is back. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for start is back. I will be uninstalling it now and going on to the next program on the list. Uh, last on the start menu list is classic shell for start menu, which I have to uninstall starts back, which I just did. Um, let's see, what is classic shell? I've never, uh, I've never actually experienced any of these. I never wanted to change the start menu before. Um, so let's go through here, uh, install it normally. Okay, so it has classic explorer, classic start menu, classic internet explorer, and classic shell update, whatever that means. So, just go ahead and install it. 
see what it has to offer. Okay, that was fast. Uh, okay, finish, I guess. What what just happened? What, what changed? Oh, I just pushed the start button and this showed up. So you got Windows 7 style, classic with two columns, and classic style. Let's, okay, let's do classic style first. Uh, look at that. That's, <laughs> that's funny. All right, what is two columns? What does that mean? Oh, that is weird. That's a little trippy. I don't know if I like that. And then there's Windows 7 style, of course. It fades in, too. And then you could select to replace the start button and choose whatever you want there, but I'm not going to. Uh, select skin, huh? So you got small icons, large font, reduce glass color, disable transparency, no. Shadows on glass, let's see, what does that look like? Ooh, no, I don't like that, uh-uh. Black text on gra uh, glass? I mean, it looks okay. Maybe it'll look okay if I had the red theme. Black buttons on glass. Nah, I don't care for that. I never cared for that border. So the skin is Windows 8. Ooh, classic skin. What does that do? Ugh, don't like that. Wait, what, what, what does this do? Nah, that, not, not fun. Metallic. Ooh, wow, look at all that. Oh my, that looks like Windows XP if I've ever seen it. Interesting. So you can change the color of it, so let's do gold. There. Nice. I like that. Um, you got image for four, first column, image for second I'm not exactly sure what any of these are. Oh, okay. So you could put like a background image back here. That's why it's just grayed out now, instead of having that... Um, Go, uh, silver background. Um, alright, what's next? You have Metro. Okay, that looks just like Windows 8. That's literally pretty much Windows 8. That looks cool. I actually kind of like that. Opaque. What is opaque? I'm not, I'm not certain. It's not... Huh. Alright, what's next? You have Midnight. Which is... Okay, it's just black, pretty much, just dark color, dark theme. I probably would have used that back whenever I used this stuff. Uh, white submenus, which is back this, right? Huh, not sure. So let's do, uh, last but not least, Windows Arrow, which is literally just Windows 7. All right, that's cool. Um, now what about basic settings here? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna scroll through this, but I'm not actually gonna do anything. Of course, you could change pretty much anything you want on here. And yeah, that's. I guess that's all that you can do with the classic start uh, for shell. Or sorry, classic shell for start menu. You can customize the start menu completely as well. It's pretty cool. I actually like that. This one might be my favorite so far, just because of how much customization it has to offer. Fortunately, I can keep it installed. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be installing Glass 8, which I think it might also be a Stardock software. I'm not exactly... I don't remember. It doesn't show up here, but that's okay. This program does not support running the version of Windows your computer is running. Wait, huh? Why? It's Windows 8. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's just move on. Let's move on to the next thing what I have on this list, which is... Uh, I have Themes. So what I'm going to be doing is um, going to the themes section, installing Ultra UX Theme Patcher, alright, go ahead and install that, I'm not exactly sure what I just saw there. Have, have fun. Zot, Zotl? I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. You have to reboot your system, make changes available. Okay. Nope. Yep. Reboot. Alright, let's move on. Let's, uh, I guess we'll open up that program I just installed. Interesting. I don't actually see it on here. UX. Let's, let's just type it. UX, whatever. 
UX. No, it's not UX, it's Ultra. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I actually got it to pop up this time. Alright, here we go. This is what I was wanting and waiting for. Nice. Now it kind of looks kind of like Windows 7-ish. Right, now let's, let's try and redo a uh, UX theme. Hopefully it works this time. I mean, it might be working now. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the theme patcher is meant for or why Sky told me to use it because, I mean, I'm not... I don't know. I've never... What the... There it is. There it is. There it is. So you got Windows, i.e. users, Windows Normal and Nature. So here's normal Windows. Let's do that. Okay. So it appears that it just looks normal to me. What about Nature? Okay, what's i.e. users? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I get it. It changed the Internet Explorer thing, didn't it? So it's messing up the Internet Explorer bar at the top there. That's weird. So this one looks fine, but the others look broken. Huh. Alright, let's install the last theme here. Wait, what is this? Holy crap, look how many themes this came with. Kind of looks like it duplicated it a little bit. How weird. Ooh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. So it's kind of like, uh, it has the Windows 7 stuff, but it changes some, some things on it, I think. Yeah, this is all like Windows, Windows 7 related. And then you got Shiny, what is Shiny? I guess that is a little shiny, isn't it? Okay, uh, what's next? You have, well, I don't have the ribbon UI, so I don't think that'll work. No, I don't think it will. Uh, then you have clear again. Oh, wow, look at those back arrows. Ugh, I don't like that. Then you have clear slash ribbon UI, which I don't have. You have shiny again. Does it duplicate itself? I feel like it duplicated itself. Basic round. Oh, this is just Windows 7 basic, but I have uh, arrow glass enabled, so it doesn't look like it's like it's supposed to. So yeah, let me go to the wind. Um, I'll just choose a random USA theme. Let's do shiny. There we go. So now it's supposedly shiny. <laughs> um, all right, now we're now that I'm done showing those themes off, let's move on to the last thing on my list, which is basically I just called it the rest. Um, of course, first things first, I'm going to be installing the Windows 7 games, uh, which is awesome. I, I'm so glad that this exists. I, you know, um, it comes with pretty much all the same Windows 7 games. And it comes with the internet games too, and I'm pretty sure that the internet games don't work anymore. Look at that, even this, it has uh, the arrow effect on it. Okay, let's do the Windows 7 games for Windows 11, uh, 11 10, 8. Maybe, if it decides to load. So it appears it's not wanting to load, uh, which is, I guess it's okay. That just puts another dent in my video. Let's go to, get. oh, there it is, never mind. Go ahead and install it. Even the internet games, even if they don't work anymore. Okay. Now I'm not gonna. I'm gonna uncheck these just because I don't. You know. I'm glad this is free. I'm really glad it's free. So nine new apps installed. So I'll go over here, and there they are. There's all the games. Uh, you got your chess, free cell, hearts, internet, backgammon, all the other internet games. You got Minesweeper, Purple Place, Solitaire, Mahjong. And Spider Solitaire. Uh, let's let's play uh, Mahjong. Why not? Let's play a little bit of Mahjong for a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the reason why. I, no, 
Pogo is the reason why I like Mahjong so much. Um, because this only has six different options to choose from, which gets pretty boring pretty quick. What, no audio? Yeah, I don't care for this skin either. Huh, no audio, how weird. Well, I guess there's something wrong with my Elgato again. That's okay. So, of course, I'll match this up with this over here. Uh, we'll do the M, M, hello? Why'd I do that? South, South. Yeah, you guys get the gist. It's pretty much just a matching game, and you can't select the tiles that you can't select, basically. That, uh, you can't, like, this tile right here, you can't select it because it's in between two other tiles. So, you've got your dragons. And, yeah, uh, let's close out of this, and now uh, I won't save it. Um, next up, I'm going to be installing the 8 gadget pack, which is pretty much the gadgets from Windows 7. Or it at least installs gadgets from Windows 7. I feel like it includes a sidebar as well. I don't I don't quite know. Cause that's from when that's like Windows Vista era. Don't you hate having hard drives? So while we wait, why don't you uh just scroll down a little bit? Look, there's a subscribe button. It's right here. Oh, the like button's also right there. They're both free, why not? And also go check out my Discord server. The link to it is also in the description. Has Windows 8 always had this? It hasn't, right? It was just like a normal flat square. I think uh, that's just uh, with the arrow thing installed. Come on, this is the last thing. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at Task Manager. It looks so funny. Look at that. You see that? I'm pressing the start button. How weird. All right, there it goes. Show gadgets on when setup exit. Yes. Close out of this. And wow, wow even the sidebar has an arrow effect on it. That's pretty cool. Of course, they, it still has that bug where everything is cut off on the side here. I don't know why, but I do not live in New York, and I'm awesome. I'm going to get rid of you. Um, so basically what it comes with by default is the typical clock you get in Windows 7, but it also comes with something called what? Clip? Clip? What, what is it called? Let me, let me see. It's called Clipboarder. And the other thing that comes with it is called, uh, you know, weather, basically. Um, so this program pretty much puts widgets back in Windows 8. And you don't have to uh, have this sidebar. You can just close the sidebar and grab at the bottom and move it wherever you want. The sidebar is just for those people that like having the sidebar, I guess. But it's, I, I'm moving them here so it, it fixes that. Um, I was hoping I could get the sidebar back. What if I do this? Uh, let, yeah, let's just add gadgets. Why not? Yep, you got the sidebar, which this basically opens it back. Um, of course, it, it comes with four, uh, but you can add more, you know, basically like what um, the extras pack has of the Windows XP 7 and Del uh, Vista Delta all have uh, the gadgets. Well, Windows XP, I don't think, has gadgets in it, but the Vista and 7 Delta both, uh, but Vista and 7 Extras pack both have uh, gadgets in it, so you can just use that, utilize that, and install different um, gadgets. So, what I think I'm going to add onto here is, there's a lot of weather stuff, as you can see. But I'm going to add the, let's see, where is it? Something that's not normally with Windows 7. Ooh, the glass calendar, that looks interesting. What does this look like? It's literally just a glass calendar. Whoa. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. Um, there's, a, there's another one on here where you can actually, it's like a custom calendar. I'm, I'm just passing over it. There it is, the black one right here. Custom calendar. So let's close this one out of the way. And let's customize this one a little bit. See, as you can see, you can choose what you want it to say. Um, I'm going to leave it at the default here, but I am going to change the background or the color. The color. I'm going to change it to a red color. And then I'm going to change the style to... Style... This five, style 5, that's my favorite style. And there we go. And it literally is just Windows 7. You push this button and it opens up just like the Windows 7 one. Of course, I'm going to hide the the uh, 
sidebar again just because I'm not a big fan of sidebars and yeah so anyways guys that just about does it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this tribute to Windows 8.1 because it is going out of support on January 10th, 2023. That's very unfortunate and it's so sad to see an operating system you grew up with disappear, you know. Or at least go out of support. It won't disappear. It'll be always be on the internet. But that pretty much has to do with this uh, video, be the end of it. Uh, make sure you subscribe and also like and go down in the description. Check out my Discord server. I've mentioned it a good five times in this video. I just don't know how many times I'm going to actually say it. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.